Young people, welcome back. Bearded Math Brother here, ready to help you out. Looks like we're checking out chapter four, lesson one. And as you guys know, let's go ahead and be clear on what the textbook is asking us to do. Now, write and graph linear equations in slope intercept form. Model real world data with equations in slope intercept form. Kind of love it, right? Um, swap back. Students will be able to write linear equations. That's what we're doing today, guys. Students will be able to write linear equations. And um, just to be clear, the concept, linear equations, the skill, writing. That's it, right? Same thing I say over and over. What's the concept? What's the skill? And make sure you got my music going. Guys, let's get this moving. Get that mess out of here. Get this new stuff in here. And make it big enough for you to see. Thank you very much. And graphing equations in slope intercept form, as you guys know, if you've been with me in chapter one, two, and three, and now we're in chapter four, we're looking at y equals mx plus b, right? Um, the directions as we see them here, right equation of a line in slope intercept form with the given slope and one intercept. So as you can see, I'm already getting our go-to. Our go-to is that y equals mx plus b. If you have your m, which is slope, you have your b, which is the y-intercept, you're done. So we're done. We have slope. m equals 5. We have the y-intercept. b equals negative 3. So we're just basically going to plug in the m and the b, and we're done. y equals mx plus b. y equals 5x plus negative 3. And go ahead and write that as the minus 3. Right? So, Guys, it's going to go pretty fast with this top half. And three, I'm just going to go downward. M again, slope negative six. B, looking at negative two. So the information I need to um, do this work is done. So we're going to be repetitive here. Uh, y is equal to negative six X plus a negative two. No need for double operations. So we don't want to say plus a negative two. We'll just write that as minus two. Moving on to number five, like I said, guys. Simple concept. Well, as I fix that, number five. A concept that if you understand it, it's going to be simple. And we're just writing. We're not doing any math. We're plugging in. So slope, three. And it looks like y set. Go ahead and um, write it out as I'm not using the variable b. I'm not using the variable m, I'm using the actual vocabulary. Slope, rise over run, right? Y intercept, b, where it crosses the y axis. And nothing hard, guys, we're just plugging in. See if I can squeeze in one more here. Number six, no! <laughs> Number seven, right? But no worries, you guys know what's going on. Um, negative 12 is the y intercept, so y equals mx plus b, guys. Simple as can be. And like I said, it's number seven. Good fix there, right? Um, two, four, six, and eight, guys. Squeeze them in again. My slope is negative two, so negative two times x, or negative two x. My y-intercept is seven. Moving on to number four, y equals seven x plus one. Number six looks like y is equal to negative four x. And then minus nine, again, I'm not gonna put that um, plus a negative, no need for that. And for our last one, guys, nothing trickery here. You do understand that zero times x is zero, so I would go ahead and make sure I know that number eight is y equals eight. Boom, bang, pow. All right, guys, first part's done. Um, please don't have those big explosions around my head. Pow is a little cap gun, not an explosion. <laughs> but um, guys, let's get this stuff out of here so we can move on to part two. Um, we're still gonna be um, dealing with linear equations. Um, slope intercept form. Get it in there, make it fit so we can knock it out. So guys, we're doing the same thing here. We gotta write an equation of slope intercept form. So I still need the variable M which represents slope, and I still need the variable B, which is gonna represent our y-intercept. And um, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna plug in M, that's why we've got that parentheses in front of the X, I'm gonna plug in B. So going along the graph line, I recognize right there, negative three. 
And I also recognize I can find my slope by counting. One, two. That's how much I ran. Now, how much am I going up? Two is the run, rise over run. And then, of course, one, let's count it. We can count it together. One, two, three, four. So, rise over run, I'll write that later. Again, you've been with me here. You recognize slope, rise over run. We've got four divided by two, which equals two. So, now with the Variable M equaling two, plug that in, and your variable B equal negative three, we're gonna plug that in, but we still don't want double operations. Final answer, Y is equal to two X minus three, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it because, again, I did not do any math, I just counted. <laughs> so let's um, do some more counting. Rise over run for a slope, this time I wrote it in, so that those of you that aren't 100% confident, and I'm already counting. And how much was that? Well, first of all, I'll get two for the B. One, two, as I'm counting the run, side to side. Now up and down, Ooh. count one, two, three, four, five, six. So this time you've got a rise of negative six because we went down and a run of positive two, so your slope is negative three. All right, guys, as we wrap up that one, be clear that the next one, M and B again, and as we take another close look, guys, I'm just burning through. One, two, one, two. We're going to the right and down, so let's be careful. Let's be careful. <laughs> I wanna go ahead and make a pause here and point out what I know you know. If you didn't recognize a slope of this line should be negative. When I went down two, that should be a negative two. But guys, a lot of times you're gonna make a mistake in this algebra. And when you do, that's okay, all right? Um, I got my y-intercept of negative one, but here I write y equals one x minus one. And guess what, guys? I'm leaving it just like that. So, Again, guys, write the equation of a line, whether they give you a graph, which we did in these last three, or they actually give you um, the points to, um, I'm sorry, the values of slope and y intercept. So this time, guys, we're graphing these linear equations that are given to us in slope intercept form. Um, as we get sized up, let's go ahead and uh, make sure that it fits just perfect. And um, number 12, y equals x plus four, number 13, y equals negative two x minus one, and of course, we're getting right into it. Um, if you see some of my videos, or anybody else, guys, slope again, rise over run, invisible once, we're gonna go up one, to the right one. To the right one, right. But we gotta know where to begin, that's our b. So in this equation, the b is equal to four, which means what? Start at zero. Okay, go ahead and plot the y-intercept. That's where I'm gonna begin. As you can see, I got that up there. And then of course, I went up one to the right one. And I like to do the opposite. Down and back, down and back, down and back. So um, if you didn't catch that, I'll slow down and give it to you again. But um, it's a straight line. It has to be if it's a linear equation. Um, I like to make sure I put as many points on the graph as possible. You'll notice that I've got a point all across this one because the slope is so easy, up one to the right one, up one to the right one. Then I use a straight edge, draw a straight line. And if you want to be fancy, I mean, this isn't being fancy. You need the arrows on the end to indicate it keeps going. And um, if you want to be fancy, you can write the equation of the line on the actual line. I don't think I'm gonna be fancy like that. <laughs> but number two here, again, pulling out your M, writing it as a slope, which means down two to the right one. We've got that. What about your B now? Your B is negative one. Be careful, the negative is part of that. And what does that mean? Where do I begin? I'm gonna begin at zero, negative one. And I'm gonna go ahead and find that coordinate first. Actually, make sure you know, B for begin, M for move. So 
So there we go, found it, that's where I began. And now how am I gonna move? Down, well, the arrows tell you how to move, the M I just say is for moving. So we're gonna go down, one, two, to the right one, one, two, to the right one. Let's do the opposite, up two, back one, up two, back one. So we go up two, back one, up two, back one, up two, back one. You'll see that I am literally getting as many points on the graph as possible instead of just getting two, because those dots alone show me that I did it correctly. It's a straight line. If those points, dots, were lined up, I would know something was incorrect. So straight edge. And I like to say straight edge because everybody's got a straight edge around the house. And um, again, am I going to be fancy? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Uh, what I am going to do, though, guys, is recognize the number 14 here. We're looking at standard form. We don't want standard form. We, this is uh, on slope intercept form. So let's convert it. When I say convert it, we want to convert it into the form that we're working on here. Y equals mx plus b. So here we go. The x is in the wrong place. We've got to move the x. It's the opposite of a positive x and negative x. Subtract it from one side, subtract it from the other side. Boom, bang, pow. Y now is equal to negative one x, because it's invisible one. And then of course, minus three. Looks like y equals mx to me. <laughs> Looks like y equals mx plus b to me. And uh, now guys, as we've been doing this whole handout, what's your M, what's your B? Being careful, there's no rush. Um, you can see here I'm moving kind of fast because I got it down. And if you're fast forwarding, trying to get to the harder ones, so there's nothing wrong with that guys. Um, as many points as you can see again, I'm going up and back, meaning a positive and a negative, a positive and a negative. And um, again, that comes from how do I move? Get a um, straight edge. And again, guys, breaking this one down, it looks quite easy once I get it in the right form. And um, there we go. Uh, there's always going to be the opportunity to graph a line using x-intercepts, um, using slope and y-intercept, and um, sometimes using a table, graphing a line using a table, plug in some points and, and graph it correct. So there it is, 12, 13, 14. We're going to get this out of here, but remember, students will be able to write the equation of a line. But in this portion of the um, handout, we were graphing the equation of a line in slope intercept. So let's get all this out of here, slide something else to do. And it looks like we are just about done with um, this handout. So 15 is video rentals. Give me a what, what, if you ever went to Blockbuster. What, what, hey, Blockbuster video. Okay, all right, let's get back to the work. We gotta get back to the work. All right, so video rentals, a video store charges $10 for a rental car plus $2 per rental. Um, what's going on? Before I know what's going on, let's, let's make sure we know what the question's talking about. Part A, write an equation in slope intercept form for the total cost C of buying a rental car and reading M movies. So pretty straightforward that part of it is write the equation of all. We're gonna be clear that C is equal to the cost. And normally we're looking at Y equals MX plus B, but I don't think that's gonna work for this one because we're not talking X and Y. We're talking plus 10 because why? They're gonna charge $10 for a rental car. So you can't even rent a movie. Y'all like, rent a movie, what you talking about? You can't rent a movie unless you have a car. Plus, so again, that's the addition, $2 per rental. Well, when I see the word per, I don't want a big brick blob. <laughs> I know two per is referring to two times. So I'm gonna multiply two times the rentals, how many rentals there are. If you're picking it up, guys, M is for movies, it says it there. But I see um, Y equals MX plus B. Except I see it as C equals M, M plus B, all right? Don't let it get you. Just understand that part one is to write equations in slope intercept form. And as you notice, 
y is equal to c, which is the cost, right? They're the same, instead of putting y, I'm putting c. And in the situation of the other variables, m is still your slope, but not here. m is slope, but m represents rentals, the movie rentals. So that's where a kid can be like, I don't get it, I'm lost. Well, yeah, I get you lost too if you're talking m is rentals and m is slope and r is um, returns and X is, I don't know, bodies and Z, it's too much, right? But when it makes sense, it makes sense. So you notice I went ahead and highlighted our X and Y axis of the graph. And you notice that the Y axis, as we said, is cost. That's what we've got. And the X axis is movies rented, and that's what we've got. Guys. So now we're gonna graph it. And we can graph this using Y equals MX plus B. There it is. Um, C equals 2M plus 10. So we can go ahead and get my M and B again. M meaning slope this time. And um, B is my Y intercept, so that's why I've got my um, point on the Y axis at 10. Now, how do I move again, right? Well, be careful different looking graph, but if you think about it, every unit on the Y is by two. So up two and then to the right one. Up two to the right one. So it looks like I'm going up one over one, up one over one, but really you're going up two because that Y axis is by two. The X axis is only going by one. So there it is. And you can tell I didn't use a straight edge on that because it's kind of a little sweet. But um, graph the equation, I did that. And now for C, C is part three of this question where we're gonna find the cost of buying a rental car and reading six movies. So the equation again is what we're gonna use and the equation is C equals two times M plus 10. So the cost of two times seven movies what, seven movies? Six movies, plus $10. Because remember, $10 was the cost of buying the rental car. Well, two times six is 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. So the cost for renting six movies is, and I always like to answer in words if they ask me. So, C is a word problem. I go ahead and give you a box of the word problem. I'm sorry, <laughs> give you a box for the answer to the word problem. And guys, we are done. And when I say we're done, remember, students will be able to write a linear equation given a graph or given slope and the y-intercept. How do you feel about it? Hope you're feeling good. Come back and see me, guys. Like, share, comment. Mr. Craft can always do better. Hope to hear from you. See you next time.